Okay, here we are out with the Boomerang RC Mini Viper. Left, right, up, down. Elevator mid -range. Left, right. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Flap zero. Break off. Okay. Looks like everything's good. This grass out here is really wet because it just rained a while ago, so I'm not going to taxi across it. And since this is a maiden, go ahead and stand behind it. Make sure I track it down the middle pretty good. Left, right, we'll just one more check of everything. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Flap zero. Break on. Break off. Okay. This is the maiden of the mini viper. You needed quite a bit of elevator up trim. And I also adjusted the, uh, put the elevator back up to full rates. Time remaining three minutes. Take off flaps. Okay, take off flaps. Looking pretty good with the trim. I'm going to come around, go into uh, landing flaps and see what trim we need. Landing flaps. Flap zero. Remaining two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna do one low pass and then I'll drop the gear, do a, a gear pass, and then we'll come in for a landing. About half throttle here. Looking good. I may land on the grass, I'm not sure. If, I, if I'm lined up real good on the runway, I'll go ahead and take it. But there's plenty of grass here if I need it. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna land on the grass. This is really fast. Break off. Flap zero. Okay, now yeah, she's back. Um, she flew really good. I'm happy with all that. Uh, the what am I trying to say here? The sound I was hearing from the thrust coming out the back. Now I know this. I know this exit is too small. It, it should be. It should be uh, almost a quarter inch bigger in diameter or an eighth of an inch in radius bigger. Um, but sometimes when I was going to full throttle, I could hear a very different sound. I don't know, maybe the blades were stalling um, because of the back pressure. I don't know what it was. I'll examine that a little more when I watch the video and see, you know, when it was happening. Let's check these wires. They are not hot at all. That's nice. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if it was just the sound, you know, because it's a composite plane with a composite tube and all that. And, and when it gets going away from you, you know, you're getting you're getting all that sound. But it sounded to me like maybe, you know, the, the blades were stalling or something because of uh, too much back pressure. Um, so we're going to look at that. And I am going to change, I am going to change this out as recommended by my friend Jeff, who had done it to his. Um, okay, so we came down with eight seconds remaining. I didn't bring a battery checker, so I'll check this when I get home. And that was on a four minute timer. The batteries do not feel hot. They feel just barely warm. I mean, just like, just barely above room temperature. Anyways, uh, successful maiden. The bottom is super wet, but not muddy or anything, so that's all right. Okay, so that happened. Um, go home and look at the video and examine it and see. Um, very little trim was needed, really. Okay, um, very little trim was needed. I needed a little bit of up trim with zero flaps, and then with the first notch of flaps it needed zero trim so technically a little bit of down the second notch of flaps it needed even more down and uh, then everything was fine and it like any viper it flies great at full flaps with gear down i'm not scared of you know turning down there and you know running out of airspeed or anything i didn't uh, i didn't feel any imminent stalls at any point yeah it was just cool good plane. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, working on the lights. I'm going to have beacon here, beacon here, landing lights here, uh, nav lights red and green, and then also flashing strobes here. May even do something on top of the uh, on top of the vertical. We shall see. Anyways, there it is. Maiden done. See you guys. <laughs>